Alright, what's up guys? Well, today I'm here with a review on that, which is the RC car. Um, I just thought you guys might want to see us different besides, you know, think of wording all the time. Um, so, yeah. Um, I still think of word, don't worry, I'm not, I just wanted to, I'm just getting into a new part of, a uh, new hobby, kind of. It's just RC cars drifting and stuff. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you can't like afford one of these expensive two hundred cars, two hundred dollar cars, then I mean just pick up any old car that you would see at Radio Shack. It's still a lot of fun. But um, if you want a pretty good uh, drifting car, then um, I'll give you a list of all the places you can go get uh, one at. So. Um, yeah, I just haven't fingerboarded in a while because I've been, you know, dealing with this. It's it's a lot of fun, but uh, fingerboarding is getting a little old and for me a little boring. Not too much, but a little bit. Um, but maybe in the future I'll sell a lot of my stuff. But yeah. But anyways, um, here's the RC uh, drift car that I got from. If you know, um, if you watch the other video from uh, NitroRCX.com, this is the um. Mass Speed Drift King. Um, this is the LED edition, um, which features um, LED lights on on that side, underglow lights as well as front uh, hood lights, and of course the back lights and a wing or spoiler. So yeah, um, overall I think they did a really good job with the. Uh, Detailing on this Nissan Skyline body. Um, it's pretty much their newest body and model. Alright. Um, they did nice with the uh, side skirts and stuff. And it's like really shiny. You can see my hand. And, um, you know, I got scratches in the pretty much um, noticeable parts. Or the right, right there. Um, it comes with stickers and stuff, and yeah, the rims are like chrome, and uh, they have like nice disc brakes, and that's, I think that's just for show, I don't know, but um, yeah. The back, I think, is a really cool part of this, because it looks, the back of the car just looks amazing, sorry, but yeah, I don't have the, um, so yeah, the back of the car looks really nice. I like the lights and everything. And um, it comes with a fake exhaust. It's like metal. Um, so yeah. I would have liked it if they would have put GTR on the logo or something. It would have been a little cool, but it doesn't really matter at all. Um, so yeah, also the front looks cool. It comes with mirrors, fake looking mirrors. And you can see the inside of the car. Alright, um, so yeah, it's the same on the other side, doesn't really matter, I just got different stickers, but um, let's take a look underneath the body, and this does come with a charger, which is really good, um, for the car, so yeah, that's that over there, so here we have the plugs and this is the thing you ch plug into the battery, the charger, and they're the same as the charger plug. This is the same as the charger, which is weird. But here, when you're ready to run, you'll plug this from there. This from here goes into here. Then you just hit the on switch, which is on that side, on the side. But has an air cooler, or whatever it's called. Um, I forget what that's called. Uh, it's 2 point four gigahertz I think that's called it's like a aluminum or something it's really it's like metal but the suspension is really good um I already drifted the tires they're hard uh plastic the of course the uh, foam bumper and uh, the brushless motor which comes in this edition um as you can see yeah, can I really see that? It's three hundred three thousand um, kvrohs, 
motor. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking about getting a new battery soon. It'll make it go faster. But I'm thinking the top speed with stock, everything stock like this, because I'm. This is stock. This is box stock. Like I just didn't make anything adjustments to it. It's just all box um, stock. And um, yeah, I think it goes at least uh, 20, 20 miles an hour. That's what I think I've been going. Uh, but uh, a new battery and maybe something upgrades. Um, probably will hit 30, 35, something like that. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But there was a couple downfalls to this. Not any downfalls. Overall, um, I'll tell you about the downfalls in a bit. But overall, the car really good at drifting. It turns the car. Um, the car turns really nice. Um, I'll just show you the lights, I guess. Um, and plus, though, like I said, the downfall is something. The build quality wasn't like a hundred percent as I thought it was gonna be. Um, you know, spending two hundred dollars on it, something came loose, and I had to. My dad had to help me screw it this back in. This part right here, there's a bolt that connected it, and it came out, and then this was dangling, which will, which would, which would make the um the wheel jiggle a lot and shake. So yeah, I fixed that, and also um the light bucket underneath here, um that I hit like a pretty. Uh, bump a pretty hard bump not too hard, but not too soft and I had to tape it back down because it uh, it came loose and it was uh, Hanging again, but that's not a big deal. I mean I still taped it and it works fine But um, yeah, that's that so I'll show you the lights now and I'll probably shut off the lights here, too So you guys can get a good look and you can do night drifting in it All right um See if I can get this plugged in. Alright. Oh snap. One second. I'm just gonna lay the camera right here real quick. Oh, crap. Yeah, I need to charge it, guys. Sorry about that. But, um, as you know, the lights will light up under glow neon lights and everything. But, um, sorry about that. Yeah, obviously I forgot that. I thought I had enough battery. I at least show you the lights, but I don't. But, last thing is the transmitter or remote control. Um, that's why your buttons on and off. Trim settings. Let's see. Uh, that's why. I think needs to be set to the middle. Yeah. And then the... Yeah, that's the uh, see you guys thanks for watching and see you later and check out uh nitrorcx.com or exceedrc.com and yeah go buy your mad speed drift king